Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I decided to go today, get, I'm trying to get everything done. I still feel like I have so much left to do. Um, I'm still not done making all my treats. I'm in the middle of that. I had to stop so I could go back to Dollar Tree and get something that I didn't know that the recipe called for. So luckily my store had it. Um, and while I was there, so I just told my husband, I was like, why don't I just do our Dollar Tree shopping today and we won't go on Thursday. And he's like, that's fine. And he's like, it'll probably be easier anyways. So I have a ton of stuff to do still. I haven't even packed or started. It's just been crazy. I've been doing all of my desserts. I worked last night. I have to work tonight. I have to work tomorrow. Like, it's crazy. So I'm going to start with some friend mail that I have here. I received three the other day and then I got two just now so I'll go ahead and start with the ones that I received the other day this one is from Crystal and she's Crystal's pets and plants um, she opened up mine that she received and I just got hers that day that you commented girl I got it later that night or afternoon it was in my mailbox and I already love it. She knows I love me my red truck. It is very glittery, but it's pretty. It says season's greetings. Aw, and she gave me a little candy cane. It broke, but that's okay. Um, bringing special wishes your way for a beautiful Christmas and a wonderful year ahead. And then I'll read what you wrote off of camera. I like to keep that just for me as a little personal thing. So thank you so much, hun. I love it. And you guys, my thing has fallen down like five or six times. It's hanging down right now. Like it fell this morning. So I'm done. I, I think it's just too heavy for the twine. Um, and I, my husband has to duck anyways because he's so tall. He has to duck every time he gets over there. So I'm gonna try and figure out something else and maybe like tape a few around and then like around over here or something. So I gotta figure something out cause it's just not cutting it. And I wanna add all of these. This one is from Andrea G, Cowgirl Pretty, Andrea G, G, sorry. And she should be receiving one from me. I just sent out a bunch on Thursday. So you guys should be getting them this week. And there's this cute little seal wearing a beanie. And then there is Santa and then a little present. And this one's so I just cut the top of these I haven't read I haven't re read these yet it says believe and it has like the little lantern I saw you haul these girl they're so pretty and then she put a bunch of stickers inside may the magic and wonder of Christmas live in your heart Merry Christmas oh you're so sweet girl thank you so much so I'm keeping these out because I want to add them with those so I don't forget. So that's why I'm not gonna put them back in my envelopes. This one, I think, is Jamie Lehman. I have a really hard time reading cursive. I'm so sorry if I am not saying that right. But there's a little Christmas tree and a present and a snowflake. And it has three polar bears wearing Santa hats it says warm holiday wishes the best of wishes to you and yours for a wonderful holiday season and a new year yeah I think her name is Jamie Lehman and then she put a couple stickers inside thank you so much hun I will send you one now that I have your address so I got these two today and this one there's a little bear and it's from just says Thompson so I don't know home for the holidays and there's a little bug with some presents on top of it or a little red car wishing you a very Merry Christmas wherever the season takes you her name is okay so you guys know her as eyes wide open 2424 so she put some stickers in there so I can send you one now that I have your address I have extra cards and I bought that extra thing of stickers. So got those. This one is Remy Crafting. And 
Ooh, that's really pretty. It says hope and there's this really pretty wreath. And it says warmest thoughts and wishes for a season filled with wonderful surprises. So she has a channel and it's called Remy Crafting. So I'm gonna go ahead and check you out, hun, if I don't know if I have already. And then I'll read the rest of this because she wrote all over it. So thank you so much for the card, hun. I'll send you one as well. So I'll get those out tomorrow in the mail for you guys. Um, that way you guys will get them before I'm gone. So if you guys send me cards and I'm not here, my husband will bring them inside. Um, once he gets home from work every night, he'll check the mail and I'll just have to do a video once I get back from my sisters. It's gonna be after Christmas though because I get back on Christmas Eve day and I don't know if I have to go and drop off my sister or if she's gonna stay with me. Um, and then obviously it's Christmas Eve and then the next day is Christmas. So I know everybody's gonna be busy with their families and not really be on YouTube as much. So if I do get friend mail while I'm gone, I will just wait after Christmas and I'll post a video. I'll record it and everything like that. So thank you so much ladies for the beautiful cards. I love every single one of them. I'm sorry if I'm just not as like happy right now. I'm really tired. Last night kicked my butt. We are so busy. It's not even funny. Um, I'm so glad that I don't have to work on Christmas Eve or like the day before because it's just going to keep getting crazier and crazier. Yesterday I clocked in, like clocked in, went and got my till and then went on register and I didn't leave my register for almost an hour because we were just that busy and it was me and one other cashier and I need a little I need to rant a little here okay so I went to the other Dollar Tree in Cala Mesa this morning just to see because I don't like to go into mine when I have to work because like I said I have to wait for a manager to come up she has to ring me up because I work tonight and I didn't want to have to pull her aside to do that but so I went to the one in Cala Mesa and I wanted to get a few things and my store has been out of bread and I need bread, but this one didn't have it either. So I'm not saying I'm perfect when I work at Dollar Tree. I'm not, but I mean, that guy was so slow that like, there's some people that work with me. I'm not going to name them. I don't know if they watch. I don't even know if they know I have a channel, but they're slow. Like, I'm a really fast cashier. Not because I'm trying to get you out of the... Not because I'm, like, that I don't care. I love talking to people. Don't get me wrong. But when we have lines that are so backed up, I just try to whip it out as fast as I can so you guys aren't sitting there in line, like, getting upset because it's taking forever. You get what I'm saying? Because I know how that feels because I used to be in that situation before I worked there. And when it comes to bagging... I mean, it's so different for us over here because we have to pay for bags. So if someone just hands you one bag that they, like one of their reusable bags, they just want you to fill it full. So they don't care if they're liquid or cleaning products or in there with the food. This guy didn't know what he was doing. He put my pretzels all the way down at the bottom and then put my soda and like other heavier stuff on top of it. And I was just like, what is this guy doing? Like, oh my gosh. And he was so slow. I was just like, if I see him, I'll never go to his line. I'll go to a different one. Like, I can't do that. Just my little rant for the day. I'm sorry if you guys deal with workers like that. I'm not like that at all. Like, I make your stuff fit nicely in the bag. I don't over bag it. And I try and keep things together for you. Like, half of the girls here well, and some guys, but mostly girls that do Dollar Tree hauls, your guys is, you pull stuff out of bags and you're just like, oh, I'm going to go in any kind of order. And I see how people bag your guys' stuff, but it also depends on how you put stuff up on the conveyor belt. I'm not trying to just take their side on this, but if you're just throwing crap up there, not caring, then they're not going to care how they put it in your bag. There's some people who will set all the food stuff, then all the beauty products, then all this, then all that. And then that's how it'll go in your bag. That's how I do it. I don't know. I'm just... And then I just have so much stuff to do. I don't even have time to be talking right now, and I'm doing that anyways. I have a ton of stuff to bake still, and I haven't been able to film for you guys. I'm so sorry. It's 
because it's recipes that I've never done before so I don't really feel comfortable baking uh, recording while I'm baking because if I mess up I would rather it be a recipe that I'm that I know I'm not gonna mess up on if you understand what I'm saying so there's gonna be a few of those later so I'm sorry. Anyways, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. Sorry for my rant. I'm sorry if you guys have workers like that that are really slow. It can be frustrating because the lady that I worked with last night was really, really slow. She is always slow. So I don't understand why they put her on a register. Instead, they should have her doing go backs or working on one of the aisles or something. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. They always put slow people on registers and the faster ones doing other stuff. And I guess it's because they know that they're gonna whip through that stuff faster. I don't, I just don't get it. Anyways, um, I had to go to Dollar Tree, like I said, to get some stuff, cause we're not gonna go, I'm not gonna go any other day. And then I went to mine because the other Dollar Tree didn't have what I needed. So I picked up this box. Um, it's really big, so I'm hoping it'll fit that coffee cup that we got our friend. My husband hasn't seen him yet. He's going to see him this weekend while I'm gone. So I already wrapped up uh, his wife's present. And then we got him a huge dinosaur stuffed animal. Like, okay, we didn't. My husband did on Black Friday. It was like 20 bucks. It's huge. My daughter keeps wanting to play with it and touch it. So I bought a huge bike bag that I'm gonna put the dinosaur inside of it so that way it doesn't get ruined, it doesn't get dirty, and my daughter probably won't see it and then she won't think about it anymore. So I picked up this bike bag for that dinosaur and then this is for his coffee cup if it fits in here. If not, I will find something to do that, to use this for. If not, I can save it for next year. Um, more Christmas stuff. I grabbed some Christmas tissue paper I wasn't going to grab any tissue paper or bags this year. I love wrapping, but sometimes it's really hard to wrap certain gifts and you need a bag. So my secret Santa gift, I wrapped the central perk sign and um, I'm gonna put that in the bag. So if it pokes out, then that's fine. They're not gonna know what it is cause it's wrapped. So I have that other one that other bag that says Merry Christmas and there's like a wreath on it but I want to save that one for a DIY for next year that I never got to do this year so I picked up this one and it says have yourself a merry little Christmas I thought it was really pretty it does have black and white buffalo check up here and then it has the holly berries and then the side and then it has that like faux wood design and then it just has red snowflakes so I'm gonna try and see if it'll fit in this one because this one's horizontal or if it'll fit in this one and I can just stand it up. So if it doesn't show too much in this one, then I'll put it in this one. And if it's the same, then I might use this one. But I just picked up this one because it was really tall and it just says Merry Christmas. And it has the poinsettias and then it has this plaid green and white and red design on it. So I picked up those. And then the tissue paper has snowflakes, there's red, there's Merry Christmas and then there's green. So I can use some of that for this coffee cup too if it fits in the box. I can use it to wrap it around there so it doesn't break. And then I needed a birthday bag for my sister. Like I've said before, her, her favorite color is pink. So I wrapped up one of her presents and another one I need to put in here, the one I got from TJ Maxx or Ross. Yeah, the fruit bowl thing. I'm gonna see if it'll fit in here. And if not, then I just won't wrap it or put it in anything and I'll just hand it to her like that but I'm hoping it'll fit in this one and then it just says happy birthday to you and it does have glitter but the fallout isn't bad on that I picked up one of these eight in one multi-use knife so there's scissors a knife blade a can opener a Phillips screw head driver um, a bottle opener a nail file a flathead screwdriver and a corkscrew so this is gonna go into a gift for my hubby from the kids to him. So I'm gonna put this in there, the sign that says dad's garage, and then I'm gonna pick him up a few other things at, at Walmart that I wasn't able to find here. My husband is so hard to shop for, it's not even funny. Like he doesn't like slippers, he doesn't wear pajama pants, he wears shorts. So I'm gonna see if I can find him 
a couple of new shirts or work socks. I don't know because I really don't know what to get him. So this is going to be from the kids to him. And if I don't use this bag for my secret <clears throat> for my secret Santa gift, I'll use it for my hubby. And then I'll just put all of his gifts from my kids to him in the bag. So I picked up that for him. And then I found my store finally got the pens with the hourglass at the top. I just chose the black one. Um, they also have pink and the baby blue turquoise color. So it has the hourglass and then that's what it looks like. So I just picked up that to have with my pen collection. Thought it was cute. And then I picked up the LA Colors. This is 40s and this is the eyeshadow palette. It's really tiny, but I really like these colors, especially this one. So I picked up that to try, see if I like it. And then the rest of this is pretty much food, except for a few things. So I needed some more gallon bags and they had the Glad brand, but you only get 10 and this one you get 13. And these work just as good. So I just picked up this one cause you get three more. And then I picked up a box of the quart size cause I'm all out of those. And then I've seen my G, triple G's, my G. Um, I see you haul these all the time. So I finally picked up one and I'm like, you know what? I just baked cookies yesterday and then I'm gonna be baking some other kind of cookies as well. Um, my neighbors aren't gonna get all the same good goodies as my husband's coworkers. They're gonna get some stuff, but not like a lot of the Christmas stuff. I'll just bake stuff that I have in my pantry. So I wanted to give these a try and they're parchment paper and you get 10 sheets in here. So got that. This is what I went to my store for just now and I got some coconut oil because I don't have shortening and I'm making some peanut butter balls and it says that you need shortening or coconut oil. So picked up this, my store had a whole bunch. Was looking for bread. Our truck doesn't come in until tomorrow and it has bread on it, but it's fine. My, I think there's like half a loaf and I can pick up one at Walmart. It's not a big deal. I picked up a bag of this bit of honey. I've never tried this before and someone bought this yesterday and I asked them if it's good and like what it tastes like and they said it tastes like honey but peanut butter. So I wanted to give that a try. These feel really hard so I don't know if I'm going to like them but I figured I'd try them. Picked up another bag of Rudolph's snack mix because I ate my other bag because it was good. So this one's going to go in my stocking. I need to get everything together for the stockings as well to see if I need to pick up anything else for either me or my hubby. It's probably going to be me that's not going to have a lot. And if that is the case, then that's fine. I can add that. And then I picked up these because my store finally brought them back. And you get four of the marshmallows covered in milk chocolate. So I picked up two of those. And then my store finally got the Milky Way that everybody's been hauling. I really want to try this one. It's salted caramel. I love caramel and I love like salt with it. So I sh I'm sure I'm going to like this. And it has six bars in there. So I picked up two. And if I open one and I like it, then I can stick the other one in my stocking too. Just so that it looks full like all the other ones and it's not like completely bare. My husband texted me and told me to pick him up some candy while I was there. And I had this one in the cart already, so I got him the Haribo Sour Streamers. He hasn't had these ones in a while, so I picked those up for him. And he wanted two more of the Cherry Punch Sweet Tart Ropes. Because like I said, he's not going to go to Dollar Tree while I'm gone unless he absolutely needs to go. And he's one of those people that can just go in, get what he needs, and leave. I have to go through the whole store. But I'm sure I'm not the only one. I got two Ham Lunchables and two Turkey definitely gonna take some of these on our trip so that way my daughter has something to eat in the car when we don't stop for meals um because late she's going through a growth spurt right now and she it seems like all she does is eat all day long so I just picked up those I'm taking some cold stuff with me anyways so I'll just throw those in the ice chest picked up two Dr. Peppers hopefully these I won't use these and I can take these with me but like I said, I like to have a Dr. Pepper in my fridge for a day that I have a really bad headache. So I'm doing fine right now. I'm just really tired. So picked up two or two of those. And then I picked up two more bags of Snaps pretzels by Snyder's. And I picked up the original ones, not the butter ones. 
because I need to make, I already made pretzels, but I need to make more because I didn't make enough and I'm all out of pretzels, but I have a ton of M&Ms. So I just need to pick up some more kisses when I go to Walmart on Thursday. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I do want to show you two things real quick that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And just like we always say, if you see it, grab it because the next time you go, it's going to be gone. I was like, oh, it's TJ Maxx. That's not going to happen. It happened. My sister wants a spoon rest for her, for next to her coffee maker because her husband, every day she rips a paper towel and sets a spoon there. So if you think about it, every day she wastes a paper towel and she doesn't want to just set it on the counter. So she told me she wants a spoon rest. She really wants the Ray Dunn spoon rest. And I haven't been able to find one at TJ Maxx yet. And I looked on Amazon and it's like 30 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not paying 30 bucks for a Ray Dunn spoon rest. So I went to TJ Maxx. I took a picture of one of them and asked her if she liked it. She said yes. Well, she didn't text me till way later in the afternoon, so I just left it there. I never bought it, because I was like, I don't want to buy this if she doesn't like it. She texted me later that day, said yes, and I was like, well, I'm going to have to go back. I went back today, and it was gone. So I got her this one, because it's a little similar to the one that I showed her. The only difference is this. So if she doesn't like this, I can paint that for her, or, you know, we can, like, rip put some ribbon on there because it does feel weird like the ceramic feeling but it says rest on it and it's really big so she said she wants a big one by her coffee maker and it was $3.99 so I'm just gonna throw this into her birthday bag and they were starting to put out Valentine's Day stuff so I picked up this one because I don't have a Valentine's Day one so it already has this little bow on there I'm gonna take it off though and this one was $4.99, but it has little white hearts and it's red. So I figured I would grab this so that way for the month of February when I decorate for Valentine's Day, I can have um, this red one on my stove. So picked up those two things from TJ Maxx. And then, like I said, went to Dollar Tree, did all of that. So the only thing left to do is to go to Walmart. I have to get some stuff before I leave because my son's out of diapers and I need laundry detergent to do laundry before I leave and I need to pick up the other part of my secret Santa gift. So that is it for this video. Thank you again ladies for the beautiful cards. I really appreciate it and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!